bless you, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you. God bless uh, any person who's seen this video. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about a, a few things as I do pretty much with most videos, but I'm going to, the main reason for this video is I'm going to show you a video and we're going to watch and play back uh, Brother Paul 777's uh, dream that he had. And as he's talking about it, the video is six minutes long. As he's talking, I'm going to go over and, and share some things, some interpretations of what some of these things mean. Um, um, brothers and sisters, and again, um, as I say, pretty much every time, take these things to the Lord, ask him um, to reveal to you um, the matter of the truth because um it's it's very important to do that and to grow and cultivate your own relationship but i i will tell you this is um holy spirit led this is revelation from the holy spirit um the interpretation is accurate and it is true and it is for warning it is for edification it is for warning it is to let people know what is happening Okay, and I'll tell you guys something. Um, brothers and sisters, I've been saying this for um, years. You can go back um, to my videos. Um, some of you even know when before uh, when I had a different YouTube channel that got deleted uh, by the enemy. But um, I've been saying this for, for years, um, even before I started um uh joshua tree youtube channel but um brothers and sisters the russians and the chinese are now coming together and um there is going to be um just as i've said probably you've heard me say uh, several times a literal invasion okay it is prophesied um it will happen judgments are happening right now as we speak but remember, brothers and sisters, what we've said before any of this stuff with China and Russia has happened, that we've been saying this for years. The Lord has showed us these things, his true servants, his true children, his servants, the prophets, as it is said in the word of God um, several times. But um, so there's a lot of things happening, brothers and sisters. Um, another thing is... The red heifer, okay, the red heifer, actually I should say the red heifers um, are, uh, have flown over, they have been flown over from Texas to Israel for the temple service. Um, brothers and sisters, that is prophecy of the word of the Lord being fulfilled. And what I want to tell you is the real true meaning of why that has manifested, of what has happened in the spiritual realm, um, that is even that is what is even more exciting because there's things happening to true children of God that is moving these things um, in the spiritual realm to manifest physically in such a way. I won't get into that. Um, right now but brothers and sisters the reason for these red heifers what is happening it what has happened in the spiritual realm who the red heifers signify who the red heifers represent in the spiritual realm um and what is happening and and uh when you read the prophecies of the red heifer and what it actually does brothers and sisters this is exciting this is um the promises the um transformation the promises, the inheritance of the word of God that is manifesting in the true children of God's uh, temples in their lives. Um, and it's so exciting, but it isn't what is happening. But um, I'm going to go ahead. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, Brother Paul's videos, you can't hear them very well. Um, I don't know why. So I'm going to take my microphone and I'm going to put it up to the uh, speaker. Hopefully you can hear it. If not, 
I'm going to leave a link in the description. Go ahead, um, subscribe to Brother Paul's channel. And, um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to stop as he says certain things. I'm going to stop and, and play them. And, and we're going to talk about a couple of things. But uh, here it goes. Okay, so it's really low, brothers and sisters. You might not be able to hear it, um, but um, what he's saying is that there was a huge, uh, if you've been noticing, brothers and sisters, huge, massive storms, okay? Um, and to those who are the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and who can really, um, who are really led of the Spirit, um, Brothers and sisters, you this will um, resonate with you that the reason for these storms, brothers and sisters, is because of a judgment, judgment that is happening in the spiritual realm. And that's how it's manifesting. These storms are how it's manifesting in the physical realm. And what these what it is, brothers and sisters, is the Lord has released armies of of. He's allowed armies of evil spirits to come and exact vengeance and punishment upon the non-repentant, upon the rebellious, and upon the wicked. And um, so this is the dream he had about this. And I, before I, uh, we get into this, I wanted to, I want to show you guys something. Let's learn um, about the Lord. Now, I'm, uh, I know that there's true brothers and sisters in Christ who are who will be watching this video but i also know that there are some who are rebellious who are not true children of god yet and that's okay um we love all people right but there is many who call themselves christians who are not living the way that the lord has prescribed in his word and i'm going to i'm going to reveal something that the holy spirit revealed to me and to share with you guys to share, to, to show people, to um, uh, teach people what, um, how God works, okay, um, sometimes, and, and sometimes the things that he allows happen, and I'm going to read, brothers and sisters, you can go, um, I was led by this, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Ezekiel 20, and I'm going to read 25 and 26. Um, but read uh, Ezekiel 20, um, verses um, 18 through 26, okay? So it's basically talking about the Lord in, in, the, um, in the wilderness, when the, children, when the um, Israelites were in the wilderness, like we are right now in the spiritual realm. We're in this wilderness. It's happening again. And... Um, what happened? They were be, they were worshiping other gods. They're being ungrateful. They're being wicked, just like a lot of people who will call themselves Christians are being right now. And so this is what the Lord says in Ezekiel 20, 25 and 26. I even gave them laws that were not good. OK, I need to give a disclaimer. Um, brothers and sisters, you can read this in KJV. Um whatever bible you have and if you're led of the holy spirit and i pray that the holy spirit would reveal to you and guide you to the truth um it's going to it might sound the wording might be a little different but the meaning and interpretation is still the same okay so you'll you'll notice most people have faith i even gave them laws that were not good and observances by which they could never live and I polluted them with their own offerings, making them sacrifice all their firstborn, which was to punish them so that they would learn that I am young. Brothers and sisters, the Lord did that. The Lord and, and a lot of people don't understand how the Lord truly works. The Lord sometimes 
he hardens people's heart. He in judgment that is happening right now, that this manifestation of these storms, brothers and sisters, is evil spirits that are um, influencing and encouraging um, and are being attached to people who judgment is being pronounced upon them. Okay? You, brothers and sisters, remember when it says that he cried out in, in Revelation 18, and he cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a lair for demons and a haunt for every unclean spirit every unclean bird and detestable beast. Brothers and sisters, guess who let these beasts and these evil spirits and these demons allow them to come out? The Lord did for judgment upon the wicked. And that's why they are growing more wicked. They're doing more evil because what is happening, the Lord has allowed these evil spirits to come out in judgment because these people are not going to repent. They love evil and they love wickedness more than they love the Lord. And um and so um the manifestation, the the how this is manifesting in the physical now, brothers and sisters, is of course the direct result of people sinning more as they are handed over to these evil demons in the world and the in the air in the world and people are being filled with many evil spirits and even demons. Um, but it's manifesting through these storms. So when these storms and these dark, really thick, dark clouds are coming through, and sometimes in the morning, you can see them real low to the ground. Brothers and sisters, that is manifestation of evil spirits that are moving through the earth. Okay. So um, I know you might not be able to hear Brother Paul very well. But again, I'll leave it in the description, the link of this video in the description, and you can listen to it yourself, but we're going to move forward. Okay, so he says in the beginning of the dream, he was in his parents' neighborhood. Now, brothers and sisters, any person who's seen this video, um, true children of God, you will notice true servants, true people of God, when they're given dreams of the Lord, you will notice something that's similar with a lot of these true dreams from the Lord is that you'll notice them say, okay, I was at my parents' house, or I was at my grandparents' house, or I was at my house. You, you'll notice them saying these things, okay? And the reason for that is, is where they are, where the true children of God, where their soul is in the spiritual realm, Okay. It's not, it's, and a lot of people look at it as a physical thing and they don't know why, why is it, why does that matter? It matters because it's where the children of God are dwelling in their, um, in the spiritual realm. That's a, that's what that means. Okay. When, when you, you hear, uh, um, true servants, true prophet, uh, true children of God who get, um, um, dreams from the Holy Spirit, dreams from the Lord, you'll notice a consistency with them saying that. But let's um let's continue. Huge snowball like objects. So huge white like orb snowball things and what those are brothers and sisters is those are spirits that are working that are operating that have been loosed from the spiritual realm that are operating and doing things in our physical realm so if you notice in scotland brothers and sisters i um as the queen died 
and the king, um, King Charles has been inaugurated, that they saw a um, huge fireball going in many parts of Europe. Brothers and sisters, that is a spirit, okay? That's a spirit that is coming into our realm, and that was a sign, and it might have been uh, the spirit that was going to enter into King Charles, but I'm not sure, but I'm telling you, that's what that was. Some were high and some were low. So, some were landing close by, and whatever these things were in the ground, it was incredible. So, that's another thing is that these, um, these fiery snow, snowballs, uh, orbs, whatever, um, they came in from the north. And you'll notice, brothers and sisters, that when it talks in prophecies, that judgment spirits that come from um, come for judgment, they're oftentimes, sometimes in the word of God, you'll notice that they that's the direction that they come from in the So it, it translated in his dream as snow. They're covering the earth and people's hearts are growing colder and more wicked. The the manifestation, the, the way that this was being revealed in Brother's dream was through snow. Okay, so he said he didn't know these people of this group that was in his dream, and they said that they are waiting for Halloween. These are people, brothers and sisters, who have been handed over to this judgment, right? This invasion came of these lights and these snowballs, and then there's all these people that are around, and they're waiting for Halloween now. That's an evil holiday because... That's a time when a lot of people are going to be moved by an evil spirit and they're going to manifest a lot of evil. Just like in Revelation 18, Babylon has become a lair for demons, okay, because they've been handed over to judgment. Okay, so then he was um, going to show, this guy was going to show him something strange, right? Something not usual. And it was a hole inside of his house. Uh, a house is represented of somebody's temple in this dream, but is it this, that's somebody's temple. And having a hole in your house is not good. That's an opening in somebody's temple, an opening in somebody's temple where something can come in like an evil spirit. So, and then, and then in the hole, they see a cover and a dead mouse. Brothers and sisters, a mouse, a rodent, is something that people don't want in their house. It's something detestable, and especially when it's dead, 
it's like, oh, get that out of here. Because that's what these evil spirit, when people know about evil spirits, right? They they don't, it's something that you don't want. It's an unwanted thing to have in your home. My brother said, well, I better go back behind us. And there was a neighbor, so it's better go behind his house. My dog has to do my business. And then he said, well, um, the person said, my dog has to go do its business. So it's basically, uh, the dog is something detestable too, and then it's doing its business. It's going to the bathroom, which is another detestable, like a, a not good thing. Okay, and this is what's interesting, brothers and sisters, is he said, uh, he said, um, it's safe in the south and in the east from these flying objects. Now, the reason why that's significant, okay, is brothers and sisters, when you go to, um, in Daniel chapter eight, okay, you have the two horned ram and he fights the one horned goat. Okay, the one horned goat wins. That's who's in power. That's the system that's in play right now. The single horned goat. And the single horned goat has a one huge horn coming out. But at the height of his power, at the height of Biden's power, that horn breaks. And then four horns sprout up from that. One of those four, and that's what is going to be happening soon. The revealing, okay, of the ant, the little horn, the son of perdition is going to soon happen. And brothers and sisters, the new world, this new uh, reality, this new world has already begun to take place, brothers and sisters. Even the frequency, the spirits, the, the openings, the portals, the frequency in the air. These, this, uh, the world is getting ready to be prepared for the coming and the revealing and the manifestation of the son of perdition, which, um, never mind, I won't get into that. But anyway, in Daniel 8, chapter 9, it says, And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceeding great. And look where this horn went, towards the south and towards the east. Brothers and sisters, notice something. That the immigrants, the illegal immigrants or the, the migrants, okay, the migrants, they are being pushed out of Texas and out of Florida. What is the significant, why is that happening? Something in the spiritual realm is moving these governors and moving that to happen. And brothers and sisters, and an immigrant is what they i'm not talking about brothers and sisters these are people who are just looking for a place to go but the reason of the what happens in the spirit what they represent in the spiritual realm is an illegal immigrant or an illegal alien is an is um it is a spirit in this evil in the spiritual realm it's an evil spirit that should not be residing in our and operating in our world in our physical realm that's what they represent the people that are not i'm not saying they're bad people i'm telling you the deeper spiritual meaning of what is happening and so you'll notice brothers and sisters that these ruler uh biden um the the far left demonically charged and influenced governors and judges they uh, you'll notice that texas and florida are in um are are constantly going against the grain okay it's a land it's it's an area where um there is a lot of because of who because of things that are happening in texas and florida they are pushing back a lot of evil and it's it's it was prophesied many thousands of years ago texas and florida is known as the south and the east and the little horn when he there's already evil powers that are coming up against it um you know to, to wait but people are seeking refuge here they're moving here from uh new york which is babylon 
California, which is the land of fornication. Um, they're moving to, to Texas and to Florida because of how it is here. We, there's a lot of um, battling up against the kingdom of darkness. And you will see, brothers and sisters, even when the son of perdition is here, that uh, Texas and Florida will be a stronghold for, for good. Um, yes, evil's prospering and, and e there's a lot, you know, um, things are happening. Um, but it also says, you know, uh, you know, the children of God are given over into his hand for time, times, and half a time. But also it says, brothers and sisters, that they will do mighty exploits against the enemy. It also says in Revelation 17 that they may go, the evil kings make war against the Lamb, but the Lamb is the Lord and Lord and King of Kings. And those that are with him, with who? The Lamb is, is the well, those that are with him are the, the few, the chosen, the faithful. They, the, the Lord uses his true children, his true, and the children, his true children to battle against the kingdom of darkness, right? So even though they're going through, there's a lot of attacks and things like that. Um, there is also it, with God, all things are possible, brothers and sisters. And yes, it says in Daniel, craft will prevail and it is prevailing in something. But we, the true children of God are continually fighting back. And, and soon the Lord is going to come and he's going to, uh, he's going to pronounce judgment on behalf of his children. And he's going to burn up the son of perdition and the whole world is going to be given um, into the it's good, the kingdom under the heavens is going to be given to the true children of El Elyon, the Lord God Almighty. And they're going to rule and reign with Christ, which is the spirit of God. Christ is a spirit. They're going to rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years. So, um, brothers and sisters, I think that's enough for now. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to have communion. We're going to be doing prayer. Join us in fasting tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're going to be fasting if you want, if you would like to join us, brothers and sisters. Um, we're, we're lifting up this offering of fasting unto the Lord out of love in our hearts for him, that we're just lifting it up to him. It is, it is for the Lord that we're lifting up this fast because we love him. And, um, and so you can join us. Um, but join, look out tomorrow, brothers and sisters, for the live stream, for the prayer. It might be live, it might be pre-recorded, but join us in prayer and communion tomorrow. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ. Love you.